what's up y'all welcome back if you are returning and welcome if you are new and tapping in for the first time happy monday everybody i hope you all have a beautiful week sending y'all lots of love lots of positive uplifting vibes and energy what's up collective let's get into the early tea let's see what's going on with y'all i'm gonna just light a quick little incense right now get my smellies right all right and we about to see what message spirit has for y'all today this is a general message meaning that everything may not be for you so please don't force what's not for you to fit your situation take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there that's going to watch okay all right y'all let's see let's see what the vibes are what's the vibes today y'all What's the vibes, Collective? I hope you all had a great weekend, and I hope you have an even better week. I hope that this week brings you a lot of new money, new connections, positive connections. I hope you feel beautiful this week, and I hope your week goes as planned, and I hope something exciting happens for y'all this week, okay? All right, let's see. Let's see what's in the energy for y'all today. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective today? What is it that you would like to tell them, Father God, Holy Spirit? What messages do you have for my collective today that will be watching this? Please and thank you. Allow me to see things clearly. Thank you for covering me, shielding me, protecting me as I channel this energy. Father God, Holy Spirit, thank you for this beautiful new day. We appreciate you and all that you do for us. What messages do you have for the collective today? What is it that you would like them to know? Somebody being incarcerated can be causing a delay to something. Either somebody's trying to set someone up to get it, to get locked up, or somebody here has actually gotten locked up. And because somebody is locked up, it could be causing a delay for some sort of plan or something that people had. I, that's what I'm seeing. That's the first message I just got. Um, I feel like collective with the Knight of Cups, somebody here may be wanting to come towards you, but I feel like somebody else has some sick, some sick, twisted plan to do something malicious to make sure that you don't receive something or that someone specifically doesn't. Someone, whoever this person is that wants to come towards you, somebody here wants to make sure that this person doesn't confirmation okay somebody here wants to make sure somebody doesn't come towards you somebody here can have a taurus moon or an aquarius moon a cancer moon but it's it's whoever this is that wants to stop something of course this is somebody that y'all don't fuck with like this is somebody that y'all probably don't even talk to this is somebody that y'all not um cool with like you don't fuck with this person i feel like you know who this person is you may know of them but you don't fuck with them. And I just feel like this person is just a fucking hater. Whoever this is, they're a hater. They know something great is coming or something great is currently happening for you. And it's like they just looking for a way to cause some sort of challenges for you. That's pretty much what I'm seeing here. Um, this could be somebody that y'all used to date for some of y'all. This person could have broke your heart and you healed from that. And this person is annoyed because now you have options in love or you're open to dating someone new. You're open to new love. And it's like this person's upset because you're supposed to be brokenhearted and, you know, pushing everybody away. You're not supposed to be happy and healing and open to new connections. Like, that's the last thing this person wants you to be doing is opening up to new connections. You, you're supposed to be too damn hurt to be open to new connections, okay? Like, you're supposed to be walking around bitter. Um, you're supposed to be walking around with a closed heart. Like, you're not supposed to be open to new connections. Like, that's how this person feels. I feel like somebody here even did some sort of work here. Some sort of magic to put you in a state where you don't want to be around nobody. Yeah, you want to be isolated. Yo, come on, spirit. Come the fuck through. This energy is so strong. This message is coming out so clear, y'all. <coughs> it's like somebody here... Wanted to put you in some sort of isolation, hermit energy, wanting you not to be seen or heard, don't really want people to see you. And because if people see you, they're going to gravitate towards you. They're going to like you. Collective, you somebody that 
naturally draws people in. I'm, I'm hearing that you have natural charm. So it's like somebody here don't want you to have that charm about you. They don't want you to attract new people and make new connections. And they damn sure don't want you dating nobody. Like, I feel like somebody's working on your love life for sure. Um, but come on now. Like, this is the message collective. Like, this is what we, this is what we got today. This is what we get in a bunch of fucking foolishness. All right. Somebody from your past, big mad hating is so concerned about your life and any positive new experiences or connections you could be making. That's what somebody's concerned with. That's what somebody thinking about. I feel like whoever this is, they need to be mindful of what they're doing because it looks like it's just going to come right back. It's like whatever they want you to experience, they're going to actually experience. That's how this is coming out now. Yeah, this cycle is actually closed out. I, I just feel like it's not effective. I don't really feel like it's making no major impact on your life. Whatever this person's been projecting or whatever they've been doing, working, be working on behind the scenes, I don't really see here that it was successful. Um, and if it was, it's over now. Like it, with the world card, something here is is done. It's completed. It's it's finished. It's over. This cycle has closed out for sure. And it's like spirit is saying if this person is continuing to do whatever it is that they want to do when it comes to that, it doesn't even matter because it's not taking any effect. It's not going to have any major impact on you. If anything, it's just going right back to this person. I feel like this person is working together with someone that's very jealous of you, very envious. Yeah, the tables have turned. I told you, whatever somebody was doing is reflecting back to them. It's happening to them. There's a queen of wands in the reverse in the mix here in some way. Someone that's very argumentative, very jealous. This person could be very promiscuous. I'm getting a feminine energy. Whoever this is, this person is mirroring whatever experience they wanted you to have. Well, not mirroring because you ain't having that experience. So it's just like... Whatever they've been wishing is just is happening, but it's happening to them. The tables have turned. Well, of fortune in the reverse. There's some sort of bad karma that this person's having. This Queen of Wands in reverse is definitely on the opposite side of the wheel, definitely experiencing some sort of bad karma. This person could be facing poverty with the five of pentacles. This person is definitely feeling left out in the cold, abandoned in some way. Definitely feel like they face some poverty. This person is now isolating themselves, okay? I'm hearing that this person don't want to be seen. They don't want to talk to nobody. This person could be trying to live life off the grid. That's what I just heard. Um, somebody here could be a fire sign, possibly. Uh, Queen of Wands in the reverse, that's fire energy. They don't have to be a fire sign, but for some of you, this person may be a fire sign, okay? Um, but yeah, this person feel foolish, Mm -hmm. This karmic woman, this distorted woman, this she jealous of you, collective. This is what this was all about. This was due to jealousy. I'm getting here that one of the biggest things here was envy. This queen of wands in reverse is somebody that's very envious of y'all. And they could have been working together with a past lover of yours, which is the person that I picked up on initially before I pulled any cards. But with the fool in the reverse and the empress reverse, this distorted feminine, this karmic woman, this empress in the reverse, she feel like a damn fool now. Mm -hmm. She feel like her jealousy got the best of her. This is somebody that could be jealous of your finances and things like that. But now this person is having financial issues, financial poverty. We've been getting that a lot too. Like the people that's been messing with y'all or wishing y'all ill or attacking y'all anyway. It's like spirit is putting holes in their fucking pockets. I'm hearing that song by Marilyn Manson. Putting holes in happiness, okay? That was on the... Um, Man, I used to love me some Marilyn Manson. Um, unpopular opinion, right? Because I know a lot of people don't fuck with him. But, um, yeah, what was that? I think that was on the Eat Me, Drink Me album. Putting holes in happiness will bring the future black. Yeah. Putting holes in happiness will paint the future black. If it needs a color, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. So this person, their future is black, and spirit is putting holes in their motherfucking happiness, okay? Um, I'm hearing that they spirit is putting holes in this person's pockets, putting holes in their happiness. Their future is black, okay? It's dark. It's a dark cloud that's hovering over this Queen of Wands in the reverse. Meanwhile, collective, you got the three of cups. You dancing and singing in the rain, y'all. Even if there's some sort of storm that someone wanted to do to experience, you fucking dancing in the middle of that storm. You sure is. Like, three of cups for you, collective. 
you happy, you celebrating, and you getting you're getting like some sort of uh, praise, recognition, reward, good news, all of that. Six of Wands, Three of Cups, all of that. Happy times for you, collective. Okay. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. <laughs> okay. And, you know, some of y'all could have a Taurus moon. I know I said that earlier. Some of y'all could have a Taurus moon. But you definitely receiving. It's like whatever somebody wanted to block or stop or didn't want you to receive. Oh, yeah, you done got that shit or you are getting it. Whatever it is. Six of Pentacles. You're getting good news. You're receiving recognition, reward, praise. You're celebrating. You're happy. Everything that somebody didn't want for you is what's happening for you. Everything beautiful for you. Collective Ace of Cups, some sort of uh, new opportunity, new beginning, some sort of offer, some sort of wish fulfillment is coming towards you. Something brand spanking new that you're going to be really excited and celebrating, okay? And somebody here, it, they just wanted to stop that. They wanted to put an end to that. Somebody here was abusing their power, abusing their authority. I'm getting here that you have somebody that's working on you that's very envious of you. Very envious, very jealous spirit, very envious spirit, okay? Very unsettled soul. This person's soul is is not intact. They may not have one. This is giving me the energy of someone with an entity attachment. But with the Hierophant reverse and the Tower reverse, somebody here just not willing to let go. Somebody here hates the fact that they've done so much to you behind the scenes. And you're still getting whatever it is that they was trying to block. You're still celebrating when they wanted you to be walking around mad, sad, angry, confused, distorted, crazy as hell. Libra, somebody, I mean, I was about to call y'all Libra. Collective, somebody, some, somebody had been trying to, and I'm sorry if I did call y'all Libra. This is a collective message. This is the early tea. But, um... This is for all y'all. So just take it as it resonates. Um, but somebody here, it's like they upset because everything that they was trying to prevent and block and stop for you, it's like it's still it's still going. It's still happening. Like somebody here clearly see that God working in your life collective because you still receiving everything that somebody has been working very hard to block and stop. They ain't stop shit. They realize that. And I feel like this is what's really grinding somebody's gears. Somebody's ass is itching right now. Just off the simple fact that God is making shit pop in your life. Like, that's karma. That's why that Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse too. That's karma. When you want to tear somebody down and you're really working really hard to do that, a, a big part of your karma is to watch God bless that person in front of you. That same person, God will bless them right in front of you. That'll be a part of your karma. And that's exactly what's happening here, collective. Okay? Somebody here feel like they were turned upside down here with this tower in the reverse. Somebody here's world is very chaotic and turned upside down. Same shit they wanted for you. They wanted your world to be turned upside down. Yeah, whoever this is, they under judgment now. Look at this shit. Judgment in the reverse, y'all. We got the wheel of fortune reverse, the tower reverse, and the judgment reverse. And this is all because somebody refused to... Uh, let something go. Hyper font reverse. This is somebody that was a tyrant, a bully. They refused to let something go. They did something impulsively. The fool in the reverse. They was working together with this queen of wands in reverse. Somebody here let their greed control them. It's like their greed and their, their envy has taken over their, their, just taken over them to the point where they was just doing shit that didn't make no damn sense. Now I feel like somebody may want to stop with the five of swords in the reverse. <clears throat> or somebody just feels like they should stop because they know for fact something over them. With the world card. You know, the world card came out up here to let you know, collective, that something is over and done with. You know, somebody here could be still trying to do little shit here and there just to irritate you and annoy you. But as far as anything really taking a major effect on you, it's not happening. And they're pissed off about that. Yeah. Temperance in the reverse. Somebody here is very pissed off about that. Temperance in the reverse. Somebody is very heartbroken about that. They're heartbroken about the fact that you still winning. You still happy. You still receiving. You still getting good news. You still celebrating. Life is still pretty much flowing for you. Very much so. In a very positive direction. Everything is going in a very positive way for you. Yeah, you have passion in your life. You could be doing things that you love. You could be getting an opportunity to do something exciting that you're actually going to enjoy doing that you're going to love. And you're going to make a lot of money from it. Or this is already what you have going on. You make a lot of money doing something that you love. <clears throat> 
I feel like whatever it is that you do is opening doors for you. I'm hearing something about your talent, your talent and your gifts putting you in a position to win. Your talent and your gifts putting you in a position to win or opening doors for you and creating new blessings and opportunities for you. That's beautiful. Why is this three of wands in the reverse? I'm sorry for any noise that y'all make here in the background. Clarify the three of wands in the reverse. Why is the three of wands in the reverse here? Eight of Pentacles here, Queen of Pentacles reverse. So there could have been somebody. Okay, I want to clarify that a little bit more. Collective, you are showing up as a star. Some of y'all are healers, and that's another reason why something didn't work because you know how to heal yourself. You know how to transmute negative energy. Some of y'all are alchemists. Um, but why is this? Um, oh, shit, that incident went out. It didn't even stay lit, y'all. I was wondering. I'm like, where's my, where's my smellies? I ain't smelling nothing. This shit done went out on its own. I don't know why that happened. I lit it pretty, pretty good. Let's relight it, y'all. I'm like, what happened to my smellies? I ain't smelling nothing. I look over. The shit ain't even lit. Shit ain't even burning. You went right on out. Mm -mm, you gotta fix that. <laughs> All right, it should stay lit now. Yeah, it should definitely stay lit now. This thing smells so good, y'all. I got so many different ones, and they all smell so nice. All right. I love incense. I've been getting into, like, diffusers, too. I like those, too. I just like shit to smell good, period. Um, But, yeah, so you a healer. You train a lot of y'all alchemists, too. So it's like you have the um, gift to transmute pain and, and negative dark energy. So that's another thing too. But um that's good. Good for you, collective. Like I'm happy that y'all are powerful and y'all know your power and y'all actually take action to protect yourselves. Because somebody here really tried y'all for real. A group of people. This is more than one person that was doing this shit. Um, what's the why is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here? Three of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, these people are happy. I'm because they watching you. You know, when people do shit, they watch to see, like, how is it working? You know, did this bitch fall yet? Did he fall yet? Did she fall yet? Did they lose their job yet? Are they are they penny pinching? What they doing? Oh, shit, this bitch eating seafood? She buying shoes? Oh, she got a new jacket. Wait, hold on. What you said you did? I thought you said you was putting this bitch in poverty. Nah, I don't look like she in poverty, bro. Look like she just ordered lobster tails and... She got new sneakers on, new boots and shit. I don't, I don't, it don't look like she hurting. It don't look like she pressing for cash. Man, that nigga is happy, man. You say he was going to be down bad. You say he was going to be begging for coins, begging for, begging for cash outside and digging in, and digging in bags for bottles and shit to recycle. Like this person is, is chilling. They actually moving into a new home. Yo, ain't nothing that shit we did work, man. Like, somebody here is discussing this because they're watching y'all. Understand that you are being monitored during this time. You are being monitored. You are being watched. Somebody wants to know if the work was working, and they realize that it's not. I mean, it is working, but it's working on them. It's not working on y'all. So, it's like, oh, shit. Like, somebody here very unhappy about the results. Like, somebody here is unhappy about you being okay. Yeah, you got a King of Swords in a reverse, a Hierophant reverse, a Queen of Pentacles in a reverse, and a Queen of Wands in a reverse. Some of y'all could have fire and, and earth and air signs going up against y'all. But I'm telling you, these people are mad as hell. As they watch you, as they sit back to see how something has taken an effect on their life, they realize it has no effect on you. If anything, it's helping you grow. It's helping positive things happen for you. Because again, like I said, a lot of y'all are able to transmute energy, transmute darkness, transmute pain, turn it into power, turn it into blessings, creativity, turn it into money. So it's like somebody here realizes that the energy that they've been sending to you is actually working for you, is giving you more energy, is fueling you because you're transmuting it. Some of y'all not even sending nothing back. You taking that shit, you transmuting it. You're like, thank you for the extra energy, baby. I needed it. Got shit to do today. Somebody like, what the fuck? Like, this is not working the way someone expected it to, okay? And they're mad because they're watching you and they realize that and they're mad. Somebody here is very unhappy. Somebody could be an Aquarius, a Leo, a Aries, um, a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Sagittarius. 
These motherfuckers is mad. Capricorn. Yeah, somebody's mad. They go that Seven of Swords energy again. What's the Seven of Swords? Why the Seven of Swords here? The Holy Spirit. Why is the Seven of Somebody still want to do something. They want to block your wish fulfillment. They want things to end in your life. But they know they can't do it. They know they just causing endings for them. Somebody here going to lose everything they keep playing. With this four of wands in the reverse here, somebody is going to lose everything if they keep playing. That's what Spirit is saying. Like, Spirit is saying that they will strip somebody of every fucking thing that they could possibly need if they keep playing. Four of Wands in reverse and the Five of Pentacles, that means you have nothing. Like, anytime you got the Four of Wands in the reverse and the Five of Pentacles and it's explaining some sort of backfire, that means you are left with nothing. You too strong, collective. Sheriff card. You could be a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. You could be an Aquarius. You could be a Gemini. You could have that in your chart. The star, the love is the strength. Like, you're too powerful. You're too strong. You're too much of a healer. You're too much of a lover, too. It's something about negative energy not having an effect on you because you're too... You too loving. It's something about you being not too loving. Like it's a good, it's a bad, like it's a bad thing. No, like too loving is a good thing. Like, cause it's like something about your energy being too pure or the energy that surrounds you is too pure. So it just automatically rejects anything that's not of it. That's not of its likeness. Like anything that's not light, it gets blinded by the light that surrounds you. Does that make sense? It's like the light is just blind in the darkness it's just putting it out it's just putting it out it's like a flame it's just burning it out like it's not it's not staying it's not sticking you're not in a low vibration if your vibration was low then this shit might have had some sort of effect on you because it's like your vibration would have to be low your your light would have to be dimmed it would have to be out but your light is beaming bright it's like it can't be put out is blinding people. Your light is burning and irritating these demonic forces. I'm telling you, that's what's going on. That's another reason why somebody could have been wanting to attack you because they just irritated by your fucking light. The shit is irritating their demons within. Like, same way we got earth angels walking around this bitch, we got earth demons. Like, these motherfuckers is irritated by your light. Like, that shit is bothering them. Like, you just being you, staying in your lane, minding your business is fucking causing people to be in a frenzy because it's just their your light is irritating them same way you could feel energy you know when somebody is good somebody's not they could feel that shit too energy is a universal language don't act don't think that people don't see your light they don't feel your light they don't feel your aura they they feel that shit somebody here could even soar your halo you feel me like they, they want to just snatch that shit snatch your crown snatch your halo Put your light out. They irritate it. I'm telling you, this is all like envy for real. It's nothing but envy surrounding these people. I'm telling you, the moon guard here. Nothing but envy surrounding us. But you're getting justice collective. Libra energy. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a Leo. You could have that in your chart. But you're receiving some sort of justice. Okay, star? You're receiving some sort of justice. All right? A beautiful, peaceful, new environment as well. And somebody here feel like they just got to give something up. <clears throat> it's too much of a burden. It's causing too much of a burden for your ops. The people that have been working up, working against you and raging war, these people feel like they got to give something up because it's too much of a burden. There's a king of wands in the reverse that's also involved. So you got a king. You got a king and queen of wands in the reverse. You got a queen of pentacles reverse. A hierophant reverse. A king of swords reverse. All these people mad. <laughs> it's women and men they all mad they don't have no peace they restless somebody here is upset because you blocked them or you stopped talking to them this person is down bad i'm hearing that this person got betrayed by their own people so people that this king of wands in the reverse was teaming up with and working together with to cause you some sort of issues those same people could have you know flipped the script on them and turned on them that's how they feel they feel like they can't even trust the people that they was working with that's what happens when you do foul shit with a bunch of people. When shit don't go as planned, they start turning against each other. It happens every time. And that's what done happened here for somebody too. And they just looking over at you, seeing that you're still chilling. You're still winning. Come on now. It don't pay to be hateful like this. It don't pay to be nasty like this. This shit is not cool. It's not cool. 
Stop doing this to people. I, I tell y'all all the time, you don't like somebody, fuck them. Act like they don't exist. But no, people can't do that. People can't do that. They just be wanting to just tear somebody down, wanting to play God in somebody's life, and God be stepping up and saying no. I'm a, I'm now I'm going to I'm now I'm going to make sure that you get front row seats to their blessings. Like that's literally what's happening. Like God is blessing you publicly because He wants to prove a point. Like you was gonna be blessed anyway, collective. But it's like God is purposely blessing you in front of these people. God know that these people watching you and he's blessing you purposely in front of these people just to just to add the sting just to just to throw salt on the wound type shit like yeah now you're gonna watch this person because I know what y'all been doing to this person so now you're gonna watch them you're gonna watch them be happy you're gonna watch them celebrate because uh, we know you're watching so yeah mm-hmm that's what's going on here but all right, Collective, I love you guys so much. I hope y'all enjoy your Monday. Again, enjoy your week. Sending you guys lots of love. Mwah. Bye.